Oh, Hello. Hi. I think we're live. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are here at the General Hospital Studios in Hollywood, and uh, I'm David Michaels from the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. And there are going to be people coming in and out visiting us today, but we are basically here to celebrate the nominees from General Hospital, of which there are many this year, I'm very happy to say. So why don't you guys just introduce yourselves as if that's necessary, but I'm Michael Hello. Easton. Nancy Lee Gron. And Verne Watson. Terrific. On Stella! <laughs> <laughs> so Verne is one of our younger actress nominees. Yeah, there, right. right? <laughs> um, no, oh. the guest, I think the guest performer category might be about the hardest um, oh. because it's men and women and oh, it's yeah, such varied performances and um, so is this your first daytime experience this this role uh, no actually I was on General Hospital about four years ago or something playing a nurse mm -hmm. and the producer told me later on when I got this part that that's how they called me in for Aunt Stella. I don't even remember what I did, but <laughs> I obviously I made some kind of impression, so they brought me in here for Aunt Stella. Well, what a great yes. character. I mean, um, how much She's of it... She's the best. She's I, I get a feeling a lot of it is, is Verne. Um, you know, I see so much of that personality, that oh, sass. The that, sweetness. The sweetness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the sass. The sass, the sass, I know. Aunt Stella's a mess, though. She speaks her mind. And, she and does. I And, and it's, it's something that I think we all want to do sometimes in yeah. situations, you know? Just tell people what you really think. I never do that. Nancy, but you want to. Don't you Nancy's, want to? You do that all the time. <laughs> Nancy's a wallflower. Uh, yes. She has... Um, oh, no. She has no presence on social media. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you, Nancy. No. I love that you speak your mind. Yeah, well. Uh, partially because I always agree with you, but. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, right. up here on the other up side. Up here on the other side. I'm appreciating know. it. So, this is how many you nominations? How many nominations for you? And how many wins for you? I don't know. A lot I of don't. nominations and what? Two wins? Uh, One two. Win? two. Two. Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah, I don't know, but no, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, girl, come on. I think we can keep going in oh, okay. circles here. And, I, you know what? I don't know. I should know that. I should not take that for granted. But but so you like, don't have I the mean, trophies at your house? I ha yes, I've got two Emmys, and then there's a there's oh, other stuff. Of I think she's, she's lost, lost track of the You come over to her house. It's the nominations because I. I don't she can touch it. <laughs> I can touch it. She said you can touch it. Oh, good. She's in the real room, her awards <laughs> room. You know what? If you, if, 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 I've been on 31 years. If you don't have at least two, there's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't Maybe. Know. You've well, got a few. Which brings us to, I mean, this brilliant yes. man sitting oh. next to you. Is this, this is really your first, Michael? It is, yeah. I find that really hard to believe. Yeah. Wait a minute. This just, is your first? It is. No. Yes. I well, took, that's ridiculous. Yeah, well, I took a refresher course at the college this year, and I did you not nominate? <laughs> were, you, were you not in the game? Is that why? I don't do it very often. There you go. See, there you go. Yeah. I wait yeah. unless the boss says I have to do it. I don't. And that's an interesting point to bring up because that's the fans why. always say, "Well, why didn't somebody?" And we've made it a policy, kind of. If someone doesn't enter, that's your business, and mm. we don't reveal that. You know, you're free to reveal that. Mm. Um, but you know, very often the fans will say, "Why didn't you nominate so and so, or why didn't you do this?" And you know, just to make it clear, we at the Academy have nothing to do with who gets nominated, with who wins, with anything. We just—it's um, peer group voting, so only professional actors can vote for these people. Some of them are in our daytime industry. Some of them are actors not in the daytime industry, which sometimes I prefer because they're really looking at it purely. You know, and there's no personalities involved. I would yeah. prefer a blue, blue ribbon panel. That's when I've gone to the ones? meetings. That, well, because I think that there's just wonderful actors in our union that um, that way they're they're not there's no uh, personal yeah. things that get in there that you can't. No, I mean, have I like that too. People. It was we used to do all of them live like that, but it, it was very expensive want, back in yeah, the day. And, you you know, know, people who have done theater, people who yeah. have mm -hmm. nighttime, people have done That's daytime, like and then to, I you mean, mean I, in I, on that, the nomination. I, I, yes, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I I think a blue ribbon panel is probably the most judicious way to do uh -huh. it. Um, but this is it's fine. It's all good. It's fine. It's but fun. So we've we've um, you've had the chance, and you can still go to the daytime Emmy's Facebook page and see the brilliant work that all of these people submitted. Um, you, you I, didn't just talk even know, did, did, I didn't submit myself. 
you were submitted by, I people, was. by people who loved you. <laughs> <No, me. laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't know you were supposed to do that. I didn't no, I, I think that they took care of you here because it was a really good reel. And you want to talk about your reel, little Michael? Because it was very special. I mean, it really was. Um, really good. Really good. Uh, but he um, is really good. That's just, right. yeah. It's really, you only have you have to work with me later. You're, you're I, I up really enjoy working with you. Yeah. 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 Enjoy work with no, you're later. just really smart. I no, love but Michael, I mean, smart if you would talk about it, because I, I, you know, I, I watch. I have to watch everything. It's part of my job, and you know, through the pre-nomination process and then into the blue ribbon process, to me, what knocked me out was the scenes where you're taped to the chair and you're, and you're detoxing. I mean, if you want to talk about that a little. That was some of the best stuff I've ever seen, really. I mean, That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. I, I'm really, I'm here by the sheer grace and talent of, of two actresses. Unfortunately, I wasn't working with Nancy at the time. But uh, if Rebecca Buddick and Fanola Hughes, um, yeah. you, you know, you're only as good as the person working opposite. And every time I stepped on the stage with them, you know, it raised my game so much. But um, in particular, the scenes with Rebecca, um, I was able to draw a little bit on, I, I had a friend that did, in case anybody hasn't seen, I'm sure many people haven't, but he, it's basically doing a, you know, a, a poor person's detox where you're going to try to get through your cravings and your withdrawals, um, and the only way to do that is really tape someone down, and so they did, they really taped me down. Sometimes they do the phony duct tape, and I said, no, let's really duct tape this, because I'm going to really want to get it. So they duct taped me down, and we sat, we were there for a few hours just duct taping, wow. so you really wanted to get into the the feel for it, and uh, Rebecca was so good, and the scenes were Rebecca really, was amazing. She is. Really. She's amazing really. in everything. She's such a sweetheart. And um, did it hurt when they undid you finally? Yeah, a little time. A little <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. You know, you felt that, all that stuff. And, yeah. Um, but you feel that anxiety being taped yeah. down, huh? Yeah. yeah. That, 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 that immediately to get out of that chair. was yeah. a bit that, ooh, wow. And did they keep spraying you? Yeah, I kept, kept, kept <laughs> spritzing, but a lot of it was just, it was warm. I wanted to wear the hoodie, because you know, you, you yeah. had the chills, and yeah. you know, you had the you have all the ticks and stuff, and I had watched a few people have gone through a few of these things, and um, I just kind of tried to draw on that, and, and it was just really well written, and everything. Sometimes things come yes, together. Yes, let's talk well about acted. the writers. The writers, just, you guys oh have some goodness. pretty amazing writers. We do. Um, we were so really amazing. And Nancy's reel was very interesting this year because you, um, a lot of it was almost a monologue. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to talk about that a little bit, uh, uh, I, I literally I had only those scenes this year so I probably could have been in the guest star category <laughs> but I, I, no 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 but I'm saying that, that that that's why they were chosen there was no I wasn't looking and searching and picking that's really all I had to offer this year and that's cyclical that happens on so far yeah no, so Nancy was at a um, in an AA meeting right right and so, um, telling, just telling, telling my story, story yeah. and it was really very powerful mm -hmm. really you. very mm -hmm. do you hear from people who are going through that yeah, you know, it was important to me. My father was a recovering alcoholic, so um, I grew up, you know, in that environment. And then he became sober, uh, so I, I saw him lit, uh, uh, recovering for 25 years, and he became an addictions counselor. Mm. So we were around and involved, and we were the family that when he went into the care unit, we were all... Uh, in counseling as well and going through the whole process together so I saw a lot I learned a lot and I have a tremendous amount of respect for my father and anybody else who overcomes uh, who's a who's able to not drink overcome any addiction Again, right any any addiction and, and so it's so interesting that both of you but drinking is so I mean it's just it's, it's around you it's all, the time. Around you all, all the time all the time right. and it's hard it's yeah. really so much harder. I think we take it for granted because it's it is it's a it's a disease that affects a lot of people. Yeah. And so, um, I wanted to just do that, do it justice, and, and do that for my well, dad and tell. I just did. wanted to be truthful and believable. That's you all. You certainly that's did, fun. and I like that. So your, yours for your dad, yours was drawn from your friend. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's fabulous. I really think that's. And fabulous. I like. I'm not a soapy gal. That's a strange thing to say for someone who's been on soaps for as long as I have. I like when things are real. I like when mm -hmm. the circumstances are actually things that would happen on planet Earth. I, it's tricky for me when it, you know people come back from the dead and, 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 and it's bigger than life. Anything is doable, mm -hmm. but I prefer it when I when it's something that is relatable, something that uh, is yeah. Well, see, I thought it was very real last year. I mean, last year you were dealing with bloody knives and, and yeah, that was a bit big, but it's not know. stuff that happens every day in my life. Right, but but, but but that was but that was <laughs> yeah. secured by a really good good solid relationship. Absolutely. So yeah, when you have that, you can you can almost do anything. Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. um, 
But I prefer just the sim the simple stuff. Yeah, yeah the simplicity is stuff. Great. Is this your first Emmy nomination? Actually, Did I you got prime time ones. Or? Yes, my first prime time. I got a Los Angeles individual Emmy in the seventies. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, for a movie that I did, uh -huh. but this is my first nomination for daytime. That's nice. great. That, that's also very well, well deserved. I, I, I love her because you know she comes on strong, but then she's got this, this really uh, warm side as well. You know what I mean? She's a very layered character. Yes. She, she's not just the attitude lady. She's also very warm. Right. You care about your people. You care about yes. your relatives. And yes. Yes. And so you play that really, really well. Thank you. I want to say that, yeah. you know, again, both of us have done this for a long time. It is so not typical when somebody like Fernand can walk in mm -hmm. and just have this personality and have the ability to do this. And there's a skill set to doing there this. There is, because I've said this before, anyone who and comes in. And she got it right away. Well, she was easy, and it makes, and it, we're all makes it easier on us too sure. because so sure. often we feel uncomfortable for the person that's like trying to I know. figure this out. Well I mean you got it you know, right you, away. Because there's so many lines. I know my, my grandson helps me get the faxes out of you pay him? <laughs> <laughs> she might have to now that you brought it up. And, and usually when now I get my little scripts right, right. there's a couple of pages that come out he's like here grandma, here grandma. Mm -hmm. Well, when these scenes came out, he's like, whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> I said, oh my God. So I actually had to hire somebody. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't like to go on set not ready. I think it's unprofessional. I like to do my homework. And I don't want people saying, well, this child go learn her lines. And, you know, you're just wasting you time. time. So and the then you have time to delve into the character if you know your lines. And I have a friend from New York that we grew, I grew up with in New York. Mm -hmm who runs my lines with me on the phone, and she's mean, too. She makes <laughs> every single word, and I hate it. Just like <laughs> you know, just like working with you. Uh-huh, uh we see a pattern. Oh, Finally boy. came out. <laughs> Truth came out. With me, they're in the booth going, is she done? What <laughs> you saying? Is she done? No, guys, there's nothing wrong with perfectionism, right? right. Were you surprised no. by how fast everything that. goes, though? Oh, my Lord, yes. Because yes. it goes pretty fast oh. around here, doesn't it? Oh, oh this is oh. speed up. Right. This is it's like acting system. aerobics, I call it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like heavy drama and emotions and I mean, everything's going on. Back in the old day, we, oh, my God, I, we worked so hard. I, I worked on Santa Barbara really, really uh -huh. hard. Where. I should still be doing that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you get through it, girl. You get no, through it but, but, but we had blocking, then we had a, a, a camera block, and yeah. then we had lunch, and then we had a whole rehearsal of the whole show. We were what? working stuff out, and mm. here, yeah. you know, it's like. You know, well, it's well, you get on that train, man, and you better stay on. I think all, all four of our network soaps work that way. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's fast. Yeah, no. It's fast. So that's what I'm saying. It's a skill set, and you. It and, is. And we've been it doing is. it for a long time, so it's it was it's easy for us to go that fast. Yeah. But, but I mean, the last prime time actor that came in and did daytime and and worked. Uh, he he literally said at the end of the show, he said, "I feel like I've been stripped naked and dragged through a swamp." <laughs> wow. Wow. So, right. But I, yeah. I would say that's the same thing about everybody's real too, right? I imagine almost every every actor will tell you that was we did one take on yeah. that. Yeah. The whole and that's exactly. every, every show. I, I mean, I don't know how the other shows exactly, but, but I, I actually, also would say they got one take yeah. and their entire yeah. reel. Is, I think it's, I think my entire reel my, is one take. So I, think it's, I, take. I yeah. think it's very similar. It's just like almost like doing a live on a player. Well, when you're bouncing off of somebody like that, you have to rehearse. And I I remember asking Curtis and um, Donnell and Vanessa, can you all come in here and rehearse with me? And I didn't know that was out of the ordinary, but now I see it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm we like to fly by the seat of our pants. <laughs> <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. So, um, just a, a fan question we haven't done. Raquel Perez, she's asking um, when you're doing your emotional stuff, which all of you have and do, uh, how do you come down? How do you come down at the end of the day? Especially, you know, maybe a good question for you after those scenes, Michael. Um, what, how do you go home and have dinner and laugh, have a few laughs? I mean, yeah. I mean <laughs> well, even though I, say, I, I drink heavily. Oh, no. okay. okay. Right. <laughs> the drugs, the drinking, all that helps. <laughs> no, I usually try to, you, you don't want to bring that stuff home, right? So you usually right. take a buffer. So you go for a walk, you take a ride on your motorcycle, 
sometimes you stop at the bar and have a beer. Yeah. But I try never to bring it home into the house. Yeah. I try to keep it living here and but not you, living you, there. You can accomplish yeah, that. Yeah, shake off, shake off can those you? demons. Yeah. Yeah, when they yell cut, I'm done. Really? Well, I mean, that's what we do. I know. You know. I so know. when you're do, you know, it's it. That's the cool thing about you know when I think about this, being able to act almost every day, you know. In acting school, we used to, at the neighborhood playhouse with Miser, we used to, you know, do these knock-knock exercises. Yeah. We had to come in with a remember, uh, with, uh, yeah. with all this emotion, and uh, uh, all these actors would be, all be sitting out there trying to cry. And <laughs> 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 you know, now, I, they just go five, four, three, and I'm like, oh, you know, I mean, it's because we're so, it's the habit of acting, it's the habit of, our, our, our emotions are so accessible to us uh -huh. from doing it all the time. Uh -huh that it's the same that when they're done, they're done, you know? I think that's a talent in itself, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, because sometimes I can't shake it when I've watched what you guys do. You, you know what I mean? It's, something really hits me. I have a hard time shaking, you know, your scenes. That's kind of right. um, you know, Again, it's, it, 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 it is the really good writing. Yeah. And, and, and that's the, the first thing. We can't do anything without the good words. Yeah. Exactly. And you get those good yeah. words, and then you get a partner that you trust, and you know you can go to places. Um, it is really it is. And then easy. when you can't remember what you did during the scene, yeah, you know it worked. Mm. You know, it's like that's I, really I don't remember what happened. Yeah. That's very. You know, I just know I went through it. That means and you were lost. Yes, in that you right. were in there, yeah. and you. Yeah. When you I, I don't remember exactly what I did, but it's a bit of magic. It's good when that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's real good. And I told poor, poor Vanessa, you know, I, I mean, I have to curse around and call all kind of horrible yeah. names and stuff, <laughs> and I apologized beforehand, and I said, "Girl, let's go in." Let's go in. So it's so just fun, you know. It's like a a, a ballet almost. It's yeah. like a fight of martial get, arts. Well, it's a fun and, job, man. Yes, it is. Lord have paid. mercy. I mean, well, you can say that. So so right. You can say that, Nancy. But <laughs> Uh -oh. And I have I never been on a soap opera where the producer, <laughs> Frank, actually comes on the set and he's watching and he's giving you notes and stuff. Yeah, I know. I mean, Frank he has a really too. vested interest in in what we're doing out there. So. I, I think, think Frank that's is an amazing leader. Yes. And it's funny, one he of the fans here, a fan named Spicer, <laughs> he wants to know who has the best wit in the cast or is it Frank? No. <laughs> Can we answer that question? I don't know. You know, we're all pretty funny. I mean, it's just, we have to be funny. In fact, we're, I think we're all funnier than Frank. Yeah. Frank doesn't have time to be funny. He's too <laughs> <awesome. laughs> um, Actually, Frank is funny. But, but he's uh, so charming. He really is charming. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's, he's a good, a good boy. man. Uh, and he's so he. You know what? There's nobody that can do what he he can do. I've never seen anyone be able to get a show done with the alacrity and the um, just these the, every everything that the the, the the eyes are dotted and the T's are crossed. Yeah. And he gets yeah. in an under budget, and that's how he we wills get it, he wills it to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I, he works his ass off. Yeah. And he's looking at everything when he's watching that monitor. So it's like he told me to take my glasses off right before. Yeah, he's he's got a, he's got his eyes and yeah. his ears. Those, those not yeah, working. he's always looking through. Yeah, the lens, he's looking. Right? He's looking. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. So I'm assuming Michael and I are wearing black suits. But what what are you what are you guys wearing? I don't know. You okay. still don't know? I don't know. You don't stress I, I don't, over those things. I, you know, I I I I went looking and then I'm like going, uh, uh, <laughs> none of this. It all looks too foo fooey. I mean, I'm I I don't know. I really don't know. I may I may wear the dress that I'm wearing to the nurses' ball. Okay. That we're taping. Prior to that, so you? you know you're gonna That's have right? that dress on yeah. for a week, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, you know you're gonna have that dress on for a week, right? I know. I'm <laughs> have you gone Just shopping? Just hanging outside. Have you gone shopping? Actually, I have this little number that I saw in Paris when I was over there, Ooh, la, la. Ooh. and I'm telling you, I was walking down the street and I saw this dress. I was like, "Ooh, this was like two years ago," uh -huh. and I haven't worn it any place else. There you go. So I might throw that on. It is black. That's oh, but it, yeah. yeah, I know. I hope it's not too hot out there. Michael and I it were was so black. hot last year. I know. I heard <laughs> it was like ninety something degrees. I was dying. Oh yeah, last year it was, and you know, I was over for meetings over at Pasadena this week, and there was this beautiful breeze, and I just looked up and asked the gods if please. Well, can, so can this far be the, the weather? Saturday before is it says seventy eight. Oh. That's Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how much can it go up on one day? I don't know what it is, though. It's, isn't it always hot on any With red climate carpet? climate change. Wherever it is? <laughs> All you right. You never know. You just never know. But we are back at the Pasadena Civic. So the show is um, its on a stage again this year, not in the ballroom, which I think is much classier. 
and I think the audience behaves better, you know, because you, you're not sitting at a table with bottles I'm of I'm not going to behave. Are you going to behave? What fun is that? I haven't been in years. Oh. This is going to be oh. really good fun for me. No, I'm going to bring it a is flask. Really good. Yeah. It is going to be fun, of and course. And a sandwich. I have to have a sandwich. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. a sandwich in your purse. I am. No, but we have um, a lot of nice surprises. It's going to be our 45th anniversary show. Wow. So uh, we're going to look back over the 45 years and... We're going to celebrate a bunch of other anniversaries aside from our own, including the 55th anniversary of General Hospital, which is very exciting. It's amazing, isn't it? So we're going to have um, Laura Wright is going to introduce that segment. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because one of the fans asked who's going to be the presenters. We haven't announced this yet, so you've heard it here first from General Hospital. We have Laura doing one segment, and we have the beautiful Michelle Stafford and Fanola Hughes presenting as well. It's a pretty tough flight right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We probably should move that cut from. I know. I'm like. 55. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm, I'm messing up the. Oh, see, I didn't even bring my. She wasn't movie. nominated for set deck. That's no, for sure. clearly no, that would no, never. No, not at all. Not at all. So, before they make you go away, and send me the next group of people, yeah. next victims. What else do you want to tell them? What else do you want to say? Don't tell me you have nothing to say because I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a reputation. You know, yeah. I, I just want to say that, you know. As fun as these awards are, it's so not a thing with me. I mean, not one of us is more special than the other. I really feel so strongly about that. I totally agree with and you. And that, I mean, it's fun for the person who gets, it's a nice night. And mm -hmm. if you win, then you get up and, and get to say how much you love people, and that's awesome. But, you know, there's so many people that are, um, you know, as good as, better, whatever, and so we don't take this too seriously. No, we, we, we think don't. it's certainly lovely. It's See, all an ensemble work. Exactly. I mean, it's absolutely, even the crew and the wardrobe and yeah. makeup, everybody is working yeah. very it's hard. It's a real, you know, so because this is, soap operas are a real team sport. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that's all. I mean, I, I yeah. don't think I don't enjoy this. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I like this a lot. No, and I, I don't just, think it's a cliche yeah. that it's an honor just to be nominated. I think that's absolutely true. It really mm -hmm. is. Because all of you are in categories with a lot of competition, and, you know, it has to come down to five people, you know. That's all right. And um, it that's doesn't right. mean the other ones weren't fabulous, too, because yeah. I, I got to see all of it. And there were no bad reels, you know, yeah. really. Um, so. And the audience is, to me, the most important Thing. Of course, the That's fans. The, most the fans. Factor, so. We do it for the fans. Thank we really you. Do, do it for it's the a, fans. It's a, it's a group. It's a team sport, and they're part of the team. Absolutely. So I really see it that way. And we're going to have the whole upstairs. The loge in the balcony is That's full awesome. of fans. That's awesome. Um, and all Kate's going to be a, feet, a seat filler. Your and, daughter and is going to be a seat filler. My best filler. friend, yes. Pastor daughter, Katie. They're going to yes. be seat fillers. And yeah, I'm actually were. bringing my boyfriend for a oh. show. So, yeah. I know. We get to meet the real boyfriend. Boyfriend. Is mm -hmm. the first time your daughter's being a seat filler? Yeah. Well, normally I bring her. Uh -huh. I said, dude, I okay, got, let me. You got someone else to bring this year. Okay. Yeah. And she yeah. says, fine. Yeah. She's, she's more excited about being a seat filler because she was like, do I have to win? Or she said to me, she goes, is there any chance you're going to win? <laughs> I win, honey. Well, there is certainly a one out of five chance you're going to win. That's what I told you. Right, right. So one out of five, five. chance. I'm right. sorry, you're going to have to. You're going to step aside or be a seat filler. Nice talking to you. All right. So, so we're. Oh, pleasure, and that uh, pleasure you. meeting you, talking thank you. to you. Thank you. Um, pleasure. Good thank luck, you, my yes, friend. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you for having us in. Oh, 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 all right. Sugar. All, right. all right. Do good scenes, guys. Thank right. you. Let's go to work, okay, Mister. Go do some. All right. I see. I see more actors coming. So I believe I see Hudson West out there, and I think, oh, who else do I see? Is that Haley? You're standing behind a light, Haley, so. Sorry. There she is, there she is. So we have Hudson Hello. and Haley. Is, is the third person going to join us for this one? Uh, yes. yes. Wally. Is oh, is it Wally? Yep. Cool. He's on his way, somewhere. Cool. Very cool. So we've been having a ball in here. Sure. I'm glad, glad you're back. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. I'm glad you're back. No, apparently Michael and Nancy are going to do a scene right now. Uh, oh, cool. cool. So off they go. And here's Wally making his dramatic late entrance. Fashionably. Fashionably, of course. All right. So we have Wally Kurth, who was nominated for Best Supporting Actor, yes. Uh huh. And. We have Haley, who's nominated for Younger Actress. That's correct. And we have um, Hudson here, who is the youngest person <coughs> nominated for Younger Actor. Yep. 
So I always think it's really cool when there's an actual young, young person in the younger yeah. actor category. How do you feel yeah. about this? Is this exciting or surprising? I'm, I'm just, I'm so honored to be, you know, nominated. It's, it's just, I'm so excited. And I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time, but, you know, it's an honor to be nominated. I want to just make sure you enjoy the whole experience. You know, don't make it a pressure thing. And I got to tell you, we were talking before. I, part of my job is to watch all the reels that you guys send in. And when I saw your reel, um, what did it for me? There's always a moment that does it for me where I say he's going to get nominated. He's, that that scene you did um, where they tell you um, that that Drew isn't your dad. Yeah. That that just broke my heart. It made me cry. You were amazing in that scene. Thank you. Really, and it just seems so real to me. Your emotion and your uh, it was beautiful. Thank you. Really beautiful. Was that hard to do? Uh, I mean, I just kind of put myself in you know in my character. Uh, you know what's going on in the scene. I'm finding out that my dad's my uncle, and uh, you know it's just it's very it's very. It's very sad that you know find that out. So um, I just pretend that I'm that character, and this is happening to me, uh, and then I cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would make you an actor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what about yours? How, how, how did you feel about your reel? What was your favorite part of it? Maybe you might even want to. They've all had the chance to see it. You can still <laughs> see all these reels if you go to the Daytona <coughs> Facebook page because we have them posted. But um, you had a good year. Yeah, I did. I was fortunate. Um, it's always an honor and a pleasure to work with Maura West sure. and uh, an Ava-centric story of her right. being burnt in the warehouse it gave yeah. me a lot of really good material. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, I tried to center it all around one story and build sort of a, a narrative in my reel. Yeah, and a lot of emotion there. Yeah, um, thank you. Which it was beautiful. Thank you. Really beautiful. So is now, this isn't your first, this is your first nomination. It is my first nomination. This is your first nomination. Yes, very exciting. It's all of us. First time. All three of you? Really? Wow. Yeah, it's my first. I didn't know that. Well, Wally, that's ridiculous, though. I mean, how many the years truth. have you been doing brilliant <laughs> stuff? Well, thank you. On different shows, even. I mean, um, really, so, so why this year, huh? Yeah. I'm excited that think? I got to do, well, I don't know. I don't know why this year. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if something had to do with Jane's exit story. That's what Jane I Jane Elliott, we, we, we started together. I started with her my first year on Days of Our Lives yeah. 31 years ago. And then we ended together on this show. And, um, you know, she's always just been a dear friend and a mentor and a sensational acting partner. And they gave her a great little exit. Yeah, they did. And uh, it was full of emotion. And, and, of course, I was a part of it. So. I was really pleased to be able to be nominated. Just be able to use that material because that was that was really important material for me. Just to sort of yeah. say goodbye as a person and as a character. And so that was kind of nice. that was the moment for me on your reel. Like I said, Hudson had one <laughs> with, with you, at, you two at the couch, and yeah. uh, it was just so emotional. Yeah, I think for yeah. everybody. For, you but know. again, if it's it's nice when your characters are when you can express easily what the character's feeling because. You're almost feeling the same. Yeah, thing, you know? yeah, yeah. And of course, we were talking about her father and saying "I love you," but you know the importance of telling someone that you love uh, while they're still alive, yeah. while they're still there. Yeah. And uh, and I yeah. think that's was my way of saying before you leave, Jane. This is how I feel about you. you know? And we'll see some footage this year over the years since we're doing anniversaries oh, okay. um, of some of the Quartermains who have left us. And uh, oh, cool! I think it's going to be a, a really fabulous emotional show. Because, like I said, we're going to celebrate their 55th anniversary, which is pretty special. Really pretty special. I don't want to ignore the fans here, because I could just talk to you guys all day. <laughs> um, um, so, all right. Well, Shannon <coughs> wants to know, we'll start with you, Hudson, and we'll move down the line. She wants to know, what's your worst habit that you have on set? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a hard one. I want to know your yeah. secret. <laughs> Maybe you don't have any bad ones. Yeah, he's so young. Uh, he doesn't have any bad habits. <laughs> I've seen him work. Set. He's good. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I can't, I wouldn't say that I don't have a bad habit. Um, <laughs> uh, on set? That's a hard question, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Do you have a worse habit off set? <laughs> uh, well, I like to judge my acting a lot, criticize myself. Criticize yourself? Yeah. So you go home and watch the shows? I do. I do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, you know, I criticize myself a lot. I could have done this different. I do this better. 
Uh, do you think that makes you better then? Because you'll do something different the next time. Yeah, I guess more, it's kind of like learning from your mistakes. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen any mistakes, but <laughs> it's pro you probably react differently to your work than I do, right? Because it's you. Is it weird? Is it weird watching yourself? I've gotten used to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's it's fun to watch to watch myself, but you know, to to watch you know all of General Hospital and all the other scenes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I mean I I like watching myself, but. I end up just criticizing myself. Yeah. I think we all do that. Yeah. So, and Haley, are you perfect, or, or do you have any bad habits? <laughs> as much as I'd like to think I'm perfect. Uh, my worst habit, I'd have to say, is I bring my scripts to set, and we're always, you know, we're moving quick through the scenes. We, we rehearse them, and we tape them, and we rehearse and we tape, and uh, especially in the hub, I don't know why I always do this, I hide my script from myself when we're going to go to tape, and then I can't find it. <laughs> it happens like once a week. So what does that do? That makes you not think about it and you have to just move forward? Yeah, I guess it's a good thing in the end because I, I'm under a little pressure to know my lines, but uh, then I feel bad because I feel like I'm littering. And I don't want to leave my trash everywhere. I wish I could Yeah, and then you'll find some that are like hidden in drawers on certain <laughs> sets and they'll be like 20 years old like, no one's opened the behind drawer pillows, for 20 I years. A, 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 a script behind that pillow at the quarter main living room the other day. I'm like, who is this? Isn't that funny? Might the character's valuable. so long Might gone. Be <laughs> be, do you have an uh, easy time learning your lines? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I can usually memorize my, memorize my lines quickly. Um, but, you know, once I memorize them, then I have to work on how I say them. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's, I don't have to worry about memorizing them and, uh, you know, knowing how to do them. So you do it like in two steps. Yeah. Cool. Read it, get down, and then, and then yeah, and then cool. I figure it out. Right, and are you perfect or you have any bad habits? <laughs> well, if I had bad habits, I probably wouldn't be around as long as I have. Oh, so let me just <laughs> say right. that in my defense. I can't really think, you know, we go so fast. I mean, I do do it. He said, I, I, I drop scripts. I'm like, where's my script? Where I gotta go, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, but lately I've been kind of feeling just because we go so fast, I really know my script pretty well. So I don't panic. Mm -hmm. Back in the day when I was younger, <laughs> I, I could look at it the night before and get a pretty good, you know, grip on it. And sometimes even said, I don't even want to know it too well. I want to just, mm -hmm. you know, I just want it to come. But now it's definitely, I know it kind of backwards and forwards, and so I can really kind of play with it and not even have to think about it. So it really is a real more of an organic, you know, we're ready to opening night. Right. Because it really is opening and closing night every it day. It is. I think it is kind of like doing a play. And yeah. You know, it, you get one rehearsal and then two million people come, really into the, come into yeah. the come into <laughs> the theater. <laughs> it's no, and but not only that, but like one rehearsal and then two million people come into the theater to watch you yes. perform some magic. Yes. So exactly. Not that there's any pressure. But there, <laughs> but there is pressure, and you want to like have have invested some time and energy into making a decision that is interesting and, and mm -hmm. engaging and. And I guess it's different. Dramatic, obviously, and, but but also entertaining and all of us, you know. But different than doing a play, because whatever you do is there forever then, right? I mean, um, it's, yeah. it's archived. Oh, but it's too. archived, but then it's also, <laughs> yeah. you're only as good as your last show. And there's True. the next show, and the next show, and the next show. So there is True. a little bit of that True. that uh, I really like, you know, so it isn't permanent. So it doesn't feel so permanent. So are all three of your characters going to the nurse's ball this year? Uh, there's not, I heard there's not any kids except for... Uh, Jocelyn and Oscar, um, but... Well, you had a lot to do there last year. It was pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, last year. Last year, there was a lot of drama going on with you at the <laughs> nurses' ball. Yeah. That. that was exciting. And you go, is Kiki going? I can't. <laughs> All right. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to say too much. No, and I don't want you to. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. The mayor will be there. The mayor will be there. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he, he's been known to perform. <laughs> I've got a song this year. Yeah, he's been known to sing. Yeah. Yeah. Known Good. Good. All right. That's a scoop. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't know that. You actually. Want scoops? <laughs> yeah. The mayor's going to sing at the nurses' ball. <laughs> so what are you going to sing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we won't get him in any more trouble. Any more trouble. Um, 
So we're getting a lot of just love for you people, um, <laughs> which is just fine. Uh, there's one for Finn, which we've already passed by. Um, um, so what do you think? <laughs> I actually would like to ask you when you put the reel together. Yeah. Um, was it hard to just pick the one? You, you said you kept it thematic. Yeah, I you know, tried. You the Ava story, right? And yeah. Because she also had stuff outside of there. <clears throat> um, I think that worked for you, though. I mean, Thank that you. was, um, you know, kind of a through thread. Because, again, if somebody's judging who doesn't watch the show. It's hard. If that's even possible that someone doesn't watch the show. <laughs> um, they could follow your story. And it made yeah. total, you know, Thank sense. You. And it Wally's was hard. It was very contained, too, because it was about Tracy and, you know, and your stuff, you know. I feel like when I'm watching them, I appreciate that because I I do like to understand the context of mm -hmm. what I'm watching when I'm judging other people's reels. Mm -hmm. um, as far as my reel goes, I definitely had it in my mind what I wanted to do from mm -hmm. the time I was shooting those scenes, and I there are different rounds where you have to cut down your reel and you have to change it, and because we're younger actors, it works a little differently for us. But I had uh, put it together. And it was a little longer than I wanted it, but I went back and forth and I was sending it to people and getting, you know, input from here and there and here and there. And there were like, it was a lot of good input that I was gonna use. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just, I got stressed out and I watched it again and I was like, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, it's you good. gotta eventually I can't, be I can't done, butcher right? it. I don't wanna yeah. like <clears throat> tear it apart. I'm just gonna leave it as is because I for some it's... reason this is what I this was my vision so I'm just gonna leave it you know it's easy to overthink you know yeah uh, and at some point you just got to let it go you know and I completely and, agree and, and you know we were talking um, with Nancy and uh, Michael um, all of you have done some really emotional stuff um, what's your process for going home and letting it go and not bringing it home with you um, start with you Yep. That's a good question. I feel like a lot of the time when I do get to do a lot of emotional work here, it's almost therapeutic because I get to express myself mm -hmm. and then I can go home and I've gotten it out of my system almost. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, like when you're dealing with the death of a loved one yeah. or and you know you're sitting there <clears throat> this is very blunt, but you're killing someone you love in your mind yeah. all day long yeah. and you get home and you're, you're relieved to see the person you love and you're happy to see them, but at the same time, it's exhausting. It's just completely emotionally draining. Yeah, because sometimes you have to come back and do it again tomorrow, right? It, it yeah. It's the same kind of emotion. Yeah, a lot of the time. Yeah. So did you bring home that emotion with the scenes about, you know, Drew, Drew not being your dad? Or were you, uh, were you able to just go home and play some video games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I just... Get into character. I do my my scenes, and then you know I just I I let it go, and then I'm able to carry out through the rest of my day. Cool, cool. And how about letting go of the Tracy stuff because that was pretty heavy. Yeah. And and there was real There's stuff involved in it because Jane yeah. was leaving, right? So again, it's yeah. but I think there is a therapeutic aspect to acting, a confessional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A confessional mm -hmm. aspect to acting, mm -hmm. and um, so it's it was a release, and then we hugged and. See ya! We just walked away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's a bizarre thing that we do for a living. Yeah. Because you can be really super emotional and really, there's something going on and it's, it's totally true and it, 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 it's happening and, and then it's done and we just sort of pack up and walk away and separate, go in separate worlds. Yeah. And, um, but that's what we do. And uh, so I didn't, no, I didn't take it home, but I, I felt, I just felt good that we had that, you know, I, I felt like we did it. I'm always happy when I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. uh, I have multiple ideas of where a scene may go, but never, I never try to really, you know, really point it. Right. I let it unfold like a dance. You know, when you're dancing with each other, you don't. You have some moves that you've maybe worked on, but the rest of it, the music is playing, and you and you sort of play off each other, and that's and at the end. You're like, oh, that was really I thought, that that felt good. And other times, you're like. I'm not sure if that was maybe our the best thing that we did, or I mean, you don't, but I feel like I don't want to leave anything on the uh, on the dance floor, and I felt like that was definitely I didn't leave anything on the dance floor. No, so that was like so that's what it that's what it felt like to me. And you and Jane stay in touch. Yeah, just had lunch with her last week. Oh, good. To tell her about the Emmy, she didn't even know. Is she doing? 
<laughs> Jane's like, once she's retired, she's like, oh, I didn't even know that. She was excited. So is she enjoying her, her, her lunch? Yeah. yeah. I paid for lunch. Ah. <laughs> well, you're the working guy, right? Right. Um, no, she's great. So it's, yeah. That's funny. We stay in touch. Hey guys, so a, a lot of the fan stuff, they can't tell you what's going to happen, so I'm not even going to ask them. Because um, we'll That's just get true. them in trouble. I already almost got you in trouble. Um, so um, let me, let, I just want to try to include the fans here. Um, I had asked this to the other group too. Who do you think is the best wit in the cast? Who's the funniest person? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, they asked if it's a cast member or if it's Frank Valentini. Oh, <laughs> he's, a, he's sharp. He's sharp. I think Roger Howarth is pretty. You say Roger? I don't work with Roger very much, but he seems to have a real dry sort of oh, yeah. cynical sense of humor that always like <laughs> <laughs> you don't what? know what to expect yeah, yeah. What, what did yeah. he just say <laughs> yeah, either, either Roger or Billy oh uh, yeah Billy's yeah, really I think Billy has pretty wicked sense of humor huh? yeah <laughs> yeah yeah what do you think uh, Roger. Roger Roger for sure yeah yeah hands down yeah I think yeah. Roger <laughs> when Jane was here, of course, when Tony oh, was here, Tony yeah. was. Uh, uh, Tony, everybody was, says that. Yeah, Tony was uh, pretty off the wall there. No, everybody <laughs> says that. <laughs> and Ken's funny. Oh, Ken, of course. Ken Schreiner. He's a okay, classic. it's a tie. He's it's a, a tie. tie. It's yeah. It's like maybe a three way tie. <laughs> um, Ken is silly. I'm just looking for anything that you guys actually can answer. <laughs> <laughs> this year about the Emmys, which was different. And because I submitted myself the last couple of years, yeah, you and you can tell me why you decided to do this. That uh, in our final reel, we get we can select four different episodes. Well, yeah, we did it. Um, you know, we we have a meeting with the daytime with representatives of the daytime community. Um, you know, people from your show come, people from every show come. Um, it seemed very limiting the way it was before, and um, to me, what the the purpose of this reel is is to show everything you do. Um, and I think the trick, although you know, we never tell anybody what to submit, I think the trick is to show, you know, don't cry in every scene and, and don't be funny in every scene and, and don't, but show us your range. And I think being able to pick scenes from up to four episodes gives you that opportunity yeah. to look over the year and, and, you know, find your best moments. So I think it's, it's a fairer way to judge you. Well, I have to um, say, I really thought about that. I thought about really collecting a range of different scenes, tones, mm -hmm. and uh, and having four, I thought, helped in that regard. It was kind of nice to be able to do to have that four. Because even one scene, I just did one scene from one episode, we were just yeah. two quick scenes from another episode, the bulk of it was from two different, right. you know, just two right. episodes. Right. So, but I thought that kind of added, I hope it added to just the viewing. You know, as a viewer, you got to see something. You know. No, it did, and we're talking about next year, uh, for, for the guest performer, you know, Renee was just here, she's um, in that category. This year they still had to just submit one episode. Oh, okay. Um, I think we should make theirs just like yours. Yeah, you know, and um, I just think it gives everybody a better chance. You know, a better. Um, yeah. <laughs> wonderful Nika Garland walking by, who we all work with and love. Um, She's the best. She is the very best. So I want to repeat again that all this is happening on April 29th, and um, it's going to be live to you on, on a multiple set of platforms. We, uh, we have a new partnership with a company called Connect TV, and you can get all of this from our Facebook page or from the uh, Natus website. You'll just have to go one place and do a click, and you'll be able to watch this on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Apple TV, on Roku, um, and more places than that. So there's absolutely no excuse for every single <laughs> person in the world not to be watching the daytime Emmys on April 29th. That's great. It's five o'clock on the West Coast. And so it's and Connect TV is on Roku, it's on YouTube? Yeah, Connect TV is a digital TV digital, network. Okay. And once you get to their site, then you get options. Okay. Um, but you can also just go to our Facebook page and oh, do, you do a click. You okay. know, I'm gonna have so to hook my grandma up. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. We're not getting away. Okay. Um, so some of the people that um, that we promised you are actually on the set and not finished yet. And it's true. And it's they're really on, I true. See them on the monitor. They're really down there. I can see on the monitor <laughs> people just acting their faces off. Um, so that they all send you love as well. Uh, but we'll, we, I get a few more minutes with these three wonderful people. So like Frank just says we might make it. I'll run up with them. So vamp a little bit. We might well, make it. He says that we might. Okay. We'll keep our fingers. Right. So yes, don't we mind can. hanging around. 
Yeah. No. Have a little bit. I could talk to these guys forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, this wasn't your first time to the rodeo. You, you've had some other jobs before this, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I got to the hospital about two years ago. Uh huh. Two years. Yeah, so I, I was. I had done stuff before that. Yeah. But, yeah. So, the other stuff you were doing was not daytime drama, right? No, it wasn't daytime. So, how different was that? Uh, you know, it's it's better in, in some ways, you know, uh, being able to do a whole episode in one day instead of weeks and weeks to film one episode, uh, you know, one take for one scene. It's, you know, it's really, you know, it's they're moving along the scenes very fast, but that's, I like that about it, you know, I like, you know, um, and you go up there, you do your scene, and then you just get to chill out until your next scene comes up. And then, mm -hmm. uh, but I like being able to, you know, the multicam thing is very good because, you know, uh, you can just do your scene, this one take. Uh, that the scene I did with, um, I found out that Drew's not my dad. Uh -huh. You know, when I had to cry like that for, I've done other things I had to cry and they have to do it again and again and again. That's hard, um, huh? to do it over and over and over. So for for this, I just had to do it once. So in some ways, that's better. I know. I know some of some of you guys would probably like more time, more takes, more. <coughs> yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a fun challenge, though, right? Yeah. That's one of the things I like about it is that you get up there and you get to give it your all, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun challenge. Yeah. Yeah. It is what and it is. And very unique. I feel like. But we were talking with, with Michael and Nancy. I mean, uh, basically all four soaps work that way, right? Yeah. It's like bang, bang, bang. I think they're all um, block and tape. I don't think they do the rehearsal in the morning like they used to and dress yeah. and then break and then do a tape Because Nancy talked about on Santa Barbara where they would like to take the whole day to do the episode. Mm -hmm. and they'd, they'd have some blocking and then they'd have lunch and they'd do a run through then they did their scenes. And yeah. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it does give you the opportunity to definitely rehearse a lot more with yeah. your partner, and really, you've worked on it a lot. You you definitely don't need to come in knowing your lines as well because you can you have a whole day to run them, so you really you can come in a little bit more loose. Um, yeah. And this is definitely you got to hit you hit the ground running. Yeah. And um, so you do a lot more of your work at home, mm -hmm. which isn't such a bad thing. No. You know. No, and I, I got to say, I mean, to us who just get to watch, it, it sure doesn't look under-rehearsed. You, you know, you Thank guys, you. You know, that's <laughs> a real time. I, I yeah, agree. You know. I agree, David. I think scenes sometimes could be better if we did them again. Yeah. You know, the scene work. But I look at the actors' performances, and, um, you know, it's not like anyone's holding anything back or, like, you know, screwing up their lines. I mean, it's everyone seems to, the actors' performances, are, I think, are just as good. Yeah. But maybe the scene shapes could be mm -hmm. a little bit tweaked if they had done it multiple times. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think it's amazing that we get what we get. Really yeah. Really pretty much one take. Yeah. yeah, and again, I've said this many times. I mean, um, people doing uh, primetime shows, they, they maybe do, what, 12 to 16 episodes a year. And these folks do 256 episodes <laughs> a year. Um, yeah. Sometimes they can go like what, 40, 50, 60 pages a day. Um, 95. It 90, happens. We're tape, oh no, we, we're taping 100 over 100 pages a day often. Really? Oh yeah. 100 pages a day. Didn't, I think General Hospital did 156 one day. What? Yeah. I think it's like average is like 95. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. And I think Days of Our Lives is 110, 150 that's a day. Cool. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Bad. So I mean. So, so what's your process? I mean, do you have to <laughs> do you have to completely finish one before you even look at what's happening next? I or? read my scripts as I get them. So we get them a week to the day before we tape. So I'll read my scripts the week before as I get them, and then I'll only work on the first one. And it's I can't double dip. I can't do two at the same time because sometimes you know you have you're you're in the same situation a lot of the time for a few days at a time. Sure. So you sure. Can, it can get messy if you're trying to take on too much. <laughs> so I try not to take on too much at a time. And so, a lot of the time I'll work on it the night before. But if I have three in a row, I'll look at all three, you know, like the presses yeah. I get it. So you get kind of a feel of the, you know, you almost like, you, you have to, 
I sort of get the pace of it. Like, how yes. am I going to get, like, okay, the second day is really going to be a tough one, so just make sure I get really know those lines and you sort of prepare for this, mm -hmm. this, like I said, opening night. Yeah, like opening night. Opening night. And so she's, what she's saying is, I want to get to second night. Right. Before I get, you know, we've right. got to get to the first opening night, and then... That's exactly <laughs> then right. Up, then we'll look up the follow. The following, yeah. Do you like to do them one, one at a time, Hudson? <clears throat> uh... Yeah, I mean, I I usually take like one script at a time, you know, not necessarily one scene at a time. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I've had I mean, maybe for like the nurses ball like three in a row. But um, you know, you just have to you know plan ahead. This one's gonna be a little bit you know heavier than this one. Yeah. Does your um, mom your mom run lines with you? Uh. A little bit, a little bit. I, uh, <laughs> I read them like a couple times. Um, I run them through. I, you know, I prepare. But it, you know, you have to kind of have to take it one at a time. Yeah. But uh, I never. I don't really have like tons at a time. What? Maybe two or three at a time. Mm -hmm. But usually it's just one script. Look, look at the scenes. Uh, I'll worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and it all just works out, huh? Yeah. 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 Um, cause I, I thought that was some pretty heavy stuff, uh, you know, like last year when your mind was being controlled and, uh, and you know, you were doing the magic thing and we thought you were going to blow up the whole nurse's ball. And, I mean, that's, that's pretty heavy stuff. Yeah. That's pretty heavy stuff. And how's it like working with the other young people? Um, the other kids, uh, you know, I think I don't get to work with the other kids a lot. Not, not anymore, right? Uh, not anymore. Yeah. You know, hardly even my brothers. I don't, I don't really get to work with them a lot. Uh, for the nurses' ball, I usually get to work with some of them because the some of the kids are at the nurses' ball. Mm -hmm. But it's it's just about always my parents and my uncle mm -hmm. and my mom. Yeah, yeah. So you're actually calling him your uncle now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of my episodes, I'm calling him Uncle Drew. Wow. Is, is that that's that's hard for a Jake, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard for Jake. Yeah. Wow. At least he's still in Jake's life, right? That's what's really important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Sounds like you're really involved there. I love oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. I really get all emotional right. with all this stuff. <laughs> and I, 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 truth be told, what I, I go home at night and watch you guys. And there's there's four of you I need to keep up with, um, yeah. So y you know I have Amazon and I have Netflix and I have like millions of things available to me. But I, if I get to watch anything that isn't daytime, it's like dessert. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's a huge undertaking. You it could. is a huge undertaking. Um, well, good for you. You watch all four shows. You try to get every show. That's really impressive. I, I really try. I really try. Um, and it's because I, I enjoy them all too. Yeah. I mean that's our world, right? Yeah. Um, I watch them too. But I'm They've all got a little and, different and flavor. I'll, I'll watch them. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you because I mean I've known I've known you for a long I know. time. I've known yeah, just we, about everybody. I remember when I first met you. I think it was at the uh, like the soap opera digest awards. And I remember the soap opera digest? Yeah, awards. that was the first time I right. I that was very different than the Emmys because it would be things like um, best villain. Oh, and didn't they do like best cat fight or yes, something like yes. that? Yes, oh, I, I remember that. Super couple, super couple, super couple, couple awards, right, super couple, and yeah, all things that would never be Emmy categories. Um, <laughs> That's fun, but they were fun. They were they were really fun. Yeah, yeah they, they were always televised, and uh -huh. it was a big deal. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. That really was. It, it, this whole thing has morphed over the years. You know, we for a lot of years we did it in New York. You came to mm -hmm. some of those, and um, but you know, budgets were different, and the world was different, and there were what maybe twelve soaps on the air. Yeah. Um, so it was nothing for just. Um, uh, your producer to put everybody on planes and send them all to New York for a week. And, That's and, wild. And it doesn't work that way anymore. You, you know, it just doesn't. Um, and we love and we cherish, you know, the four soaps that we have. Um, you know, we also look at the web soaps that are kind of taking over the internet. There were 19 web soaps entered this year, which is really wow. wow. Kind of back to like it was with the network soaps. You know. That's cool. Well, and it shows that that's what the people love it. <clears throat> Everyone. I think people are, more. are hungry yeah. for the genre. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, they remain hungry for the genre. I mean, if some network would actually take on putting on a new soap, yeah, they'd be major heroes. Really. Yeah. 
<clears throat> excuse me, but you know, I think you guys understand that it's much more expensive to do something like this than to do a talk show. Yeah. Um, with all the sets and the costumes and all the actors and the actors. Yeah. <laughs> those actors, those actors just ruin everything. But we're getting it done faster um, and faster. Yeah. No, we're getting them done, and you know we love it. So um, I can't remember how many, but GH has the most nominations this year. I want to say it was twenty-six, or something like that. That sounds about right. Yeah, and so many acting nominations, and it's also extraordinary in the um, in the lead actress category. There are five amazing nominees, and three of them come from GH. Yeah. Yes. We have Laura and Mora and Nancy. Um, I worship them all. I yeah. Love them. They're all fabulous. They're all, yeah, I mean, Laura's like my buddy. You know, I love her. I love her. She's, uh, aside from her talent, uh, I like her wit. And She's her, another witty one, yeah. She is a wit. Oh, thank you. It really showed. Her. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that I've been talking nonstop for, what, two hours now? <laughs> but, uh, which is not unusual, actually. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So. Why don't you just take a minute and say whatever you want to to the fans, because we're, we're vamping a little, hoping yeah, that... Yeah. yeah, we're getting an update now on, oh, on cool. your castmates, but have anything you want to say to them that you haven't gotten a chance to say? Because they love you. Thanks, you guys, <laughs> and thank you for watching and being so loyal to the show after all these years. Uh, it means a lot when... I'm speaking for both of us now, but when somebody new comes in and you accept us, it just... it, it means the world, because especially being a recast and someone that comes in playing a character that's already been played by another actor. Um, when, when we feel that the fans are on our side, it, it just makes it all so much more enjoyable to do. It's so when that happened, um, did you try, um, try to make her different than she used to be or try to make her kind of like she used to be? Or what, what, do you, what was the process there? That's a loaded question. It is. Uh, it <laughs> when, is. I, no. when I first started, I, uh, I had gotten the call that I got the part and I came up here actually. And I was walking with Frank and the writer at the time and they told me, oh, we're gonna take Kiki back to her roots. She's gonna be this bad girl. And I was thrilled, I was really excited because who doesn't want to be a bad girl? Sure. <laughs> and then uh, I think part of what happened was maybe it was a little bit, Kiki became infused with Haley a little, and um, she got really nice, and, like really sweet, and um, <laughs> oh, heaven forbid. kind, and, yeah, and forgiving, and had all these like not bad qualities. So at first I was like, I do want to be bad, but I'm doing so many nice things. I, I don't know how to do that, I can't. So I think the character has, uh, she's evolved a lot and grown a lot and it's been a, an honor and a pleasure to be on this journey and to go from having no job to being a waitress at the Metro Court to being in medical school it's just been a, a, such a joy and on a show about a hospital yeah so uh, it feels like I'm part of something a lot bigger than myself and you it feels are. great yeah. You are. No, it's fabulous. And I think that's hard. We were talking before about um, it's hard when you in the guest actor roles yeah. that you're walking into a situation where everybody knows everybody and everybody knows the routine yeah. and you're supposed to hit the ground running, which I think Verne did really well. She's, awesome. um, she's so good. She's so good. But I think that's hard to be the new kid on the block anywhere. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and when people have been working with each other for 50 years, it's like... Yeah. Because way back in the day, you were recast too, right? I was. As Ned, right? I was indeed. Yep. Kurt McKinney mm -hmm. was here before me. Yep. And uh, I didn't really do any research. I didn't like, oh, I, I saw Kurt. I saw an episode of him working with Jane. So I, I knew mm -hmm. I'd be working with Jane. Um, and he had it looked like he was having a lot of fun. I thought, well, that's important. I want to have more fun with this character. Mm -hmm. um, that was about it. And uh, and Gloria didn't really say much like I want you to be like Kurt or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you and I kind of coming from days I really did kind of have an idea of what I wanted to do a little bit different in, in for myself as mm -hmm. an artist. Mm -hmm. So uh, like I said, I wanted to have a little more fun with it, and uh, so uh, yeah, I was kind of didn't really. And they let you. They did. They let you make it. You. They encouraged. Make it, it yeah. yours. Yeah. Yeah. They encouraged it, and I was had the right attitude. 
but it is like a family, and uh, and I feel blessed that I get to work with two families. You know, that I have yes. the opportunity yes to recur on two uh, wonderful families, cast yeah. and crews, and uh, it is. It's, it's and really are you the it's, only person doing that right now. Well, I know Eileen did it for. Well, Eileen, Eileen went back and forth for, uh, for a yeah, short time. Yeah, she's not doing yeah. it now yeah. though. They just finished. They're up. They're coming up. They're coming oh, up. God. Ooh. Yeah, so I, no, it's like I, I it is a family, and it's wonderful. But I just want to <coughs> encourage you all for you know, and just thank you for for watching because uh, I know everybody that I work with loves our job. We just love our job, and uh, <laughs> when I love that, you know, and so it's it's great. If no one's watching. We don't have a job, so yeah. It's, but again, uh, the, the, your double duty has to be difficult. I mean, um, talk about getting the one set of script in your mind, then you have... Sometimes I've had to work on the same day, yeah, but it yeah, hasn't been... Really? Yeah. Same day? Yeah, though. Then they work it out. I'll be on days in the morning and come over here and work in the afternoon. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Now that's a lot to get into your head, though, isn't it? <laughs> that's why I spend a lot of time. I mean, I'm, I take my <laughs> scripts with me everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm just sitting in a light, sometimes I'll be thinking, the, and I'll pull it off. And I'll, and I'll look at it. I mean, I just, I keep it everywhere I go. I go to the beach a lot with my son, and uh -huh. I take it, and, and I tell you, looking at a script at the beach, there's something really kind of inspiring about that, too, in a way. You look at it differently, and you just look at, and, every, and when you go to, if you're looking at the park, or the library, or at the beach, you sometimes get different, you're, you're in a different sure. place, and so sure. you get a That's different, awesome. you get a different take on the material as well. I think you I've might. Noticed. I'm going to steal that from mind. you. I, I That's a great idea. idea. Right, so I think they're going to throw you out there. They are the stars! Yeah. Yeah. Are we on live right now? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, have fun. Bye. Have fun. Bye. 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 Pleasure to see you very soon. Hi, Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. I've just been working for the night. We're live. We're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Hey. Better late than never. Are we late? How late are we? I don't know. I feel like I've been talking for about two hours with these poor fans. But they're here to see you. So oh, congratulations thank you. to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. To all of you. So Chloe, when, when we did this last year, uh -huh. I mean, look how much has happened. I mean, um, I remember one of the questions to you was, do you think Nell and Michael might get together? <laughs> so, so really, that was one of the questions last year. I know, I remember <laughs> that. Well, they did. They did. And Yes. Didn't, yes. Didn't go well. Didn't go she well. She took off her pregnancy pad. You should have kept it yeah, on. I, I wanted to. They wouldn't let me. So oh. that's so funny. Well, that's so okay. Funny. Yeah. So, isn't how, how do you feel fans seeing um, Carly and Nell actually liking each other? <laughs> <laughs> I love we do. Mora. I love each other, Woo! and I love Mora. Yes. We love yes. each other. Yeah. We do. No, we really do. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's true, and that's what we've been hearing with all three groups. Um, you, you know. You might have a liar or two in there. Might. We might. <laughs> we, might. we might. We might. But we we'll might. never tell. <laughs> so congratulations again. Thank you. Really, that is really Thank fabulous. You. And of course, to I, I was just saying, it's fairly extraordinary. Um, this this group of lead actress nominees this year is extraordinary, and three of them are from here, which is, um, you know, really quite a tribute, I think, to all of you. Oh, we love that. We, really, we do. Really, we're like, really. so it's like, and we're like talking about, like, what are we going to wear and trying to help each other with dresses and giving a pen. Like, it's really fun. When you posted that picture of the, um, of the leading, leading actress luncheon, it's like, I, I, I didn't expect to be invited, but I would have liked to have been sitting at the next table. <laughs> I recorded the whole thing. Oh, did you? Did you? That looked like so much fun. It was. It was. We had a great time. <laughs> yeah. Didn't we have a good time? We did, yes. yes. It was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. Nice, nice people. It's a fun group. Yeah. You know, one thing, we talked a little about this on that radio show, the night of the nominations. Mm -hmm. um, I was fascinated with, with Ava when she was uh, burned and disfigured. And mm -hmm. I, I just, to me, that, that had to be um, a very arduous kind of thing. And I remember I asked you, and I, I loved this answer. I, I, had, I said to Maura, did you have to keep looking in the mirror to, to know what the fans were seeing? And you said no. You said you just did it all in your head. Time. Yeah. Which I never look in the mirror. I'm well, but wasn't there a beat <laughs> when, <laughs> when the character looked in the mirror for the first time? So that's oh. fascinating. Oh, yeah. and so I meant, like, so to hold off on that is yeah. fascinating. Yeah, in the moment moments when she sure. was looking right. in the mirror and right. I, that, that. Right. And it's powerful. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Right. 
Right. So Carly, you, you've had Carly. Laura. Laura. That's <laughs> okay. I called Hudson Jake. I'll Let's answer anything. Um, <laughs> well, um, well, we, we've been talking about everybody's reels, which everybody can still see. They're still posted um, on our Facebook page. Um, I, I was telling everybody, I think, just the moment that I think is why they made it through. I mean, that's just, this is all in my head. Oh, why each person made it through? What was yeah. the moment on their reel? So for yours, it was seeing Jason. Yeah. That moment, that a, it's mm -hmm. a classic moment. I think it's going to be shown. It's classic, all um, the I think, in daytime you know. just because yeah. it's a story. Someone comes back from the dead, you know, yeah. because that goes back to when I remember one of the biggest, probably the first major soap memory I have was when Laura comes back from the dead and Luke sees her and you know she's wearing a cloak and he has a cocktail and he you know Tony Gary just was is amazing but that moment where he drops his cocktail and he jumps over the balcony and runs and pulls the cloak off and just I mean mm. oh yeah. you know yeah. and I and I remember just screaming and jumping up and down on my bed and so I to think that I got to play a similar moment years later is just so amazing yeah. for me yeah and yours was just a reel of so many things because we were talking before about uh, Wally brought up that you know now you're allowed to pull from four episodes, mm -hmm. which I think is a much better thing for the actor um, because you can show a range of things mm -hmm. and you really did more. I mean it's a, Thank you. it's an astounding reel. I mean um, I, I still have a fondness for that moment when you start the fire and then that scene that precedes it. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the moment with you and Ken. Scott and Avon, yeah. I love that because mm. it's so um, uh, it's still funny through the pain, you know, which yeah. is which is such uh, which is life. Yeah, you know that's like yeah. you know when yeah. you, know, you laugh like you know at, fu at funerals is when you'll ro roar in laughter when it's the most painful moment that mm -hmm. you're in. So mm -hmm. I just find or you that's so hear, human, I guess, a human. Yeah, you can hear something terrible, you get terrible news, and it doesn't hit you right away, or it's like, and then like a week later, you're just sobbing. But for the first week, you just don't feel anything. I think for someone like Ava too, who's so rarely um, completely vulnerable and honest, right? I appreciated that this the, the in the boxing ring where she said, "I, I," she took off the mask and the burns are there, and, mm -hmm. and she said, "I know it's vain. I just want to be beautiful." Yeah. Which is again another human moment. Yeah. 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 And your moments with him are so tender. Amazing. Um, with my priest. With your, <laughs> with, your yeah. pretty, with your priest, yes. your pretty boy. Yeah, you didn't exactly <laughs> defrock him. You, right. No, he was sure. defrocked. No, right, right, right. Yeah. no, he has a kid right. or something, doesn't he? Have like, he or, thought it was his, but it wasn't. Oh. But there was a there was a chance. There was a chance. <laughs> Which means. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, so, you know, I'm following. I'm following. So you two are still. Give um, me a tissue, Jane. Yeah. I'm sorry. You two are definitely still hating on each other, right? On the show, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yes, for yeah. sure. Yeah, we have some fun stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, a it's lot. been, <laughs> it's been, yeah. Today it's was a, a lot. crazy day. Can you hear me that, Mars? Oh, yeah. Sorry, we had like seen we just, we just, came, just came from. We set. just come from set with like, um, and I just came from set, and I've got my with like oh, some should. emotional yes. stuff. And I'm like, my nose is running. I need to. Yeah, I'm sure my makeup's like all over my face. No, you look absolutely beautiful. I'll be your mirror. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day we're in a scene and my hair's like messed up and it's airing and I'm like, I'm going to go say something tomorrow I'm going to say it with you. I always look out for you. I know. I know it's for you. That's why I was laughing. But I was, I, I was, uh, you were seemed shorter in the scene at that moment. I don't know why. I don't know. I seemed may, shorter. Maybe she couldn't um, see the time. I am shorter. <laughs> you are shorter. But I was dying laughing the other day too. I'm watching it. We were, I was and I were watching it and I'm like, oh my God. And every time you cut to me, I had this big like loop of a hair that was up. And I said, Laura did not tell me. Oh. <laughs> I totally blamed it on you. It all became Mars' fault. <laughs> so we've been talking about that we, um, it's the Daytime Emmy's 45th anniversary, but we're also going to be celebrating General Hospital's 55th. We're, we're, we're rooting, yeah, with our cups blocking. We're, rooting, oh. we're, we're going to be celebrating General Hospital's 55th, and um, there, there are um, a few other anniversaries during the night. Yes. And we gave them an exclusive that, that Laura is going to be introducing the anniversary segment. Yes, for General Hospital. Yay. Wonderful. I'm honored, really honored. Lovely. Yes, I was yeah. so excited. Thank you. Mm. I was very excited and happy no, that's um, gonna be to fabulous. do that. I love that. That's going to be fabulous. So, this is your second. This is your second nomination. Yes, yes. Cool. Very excited. Cool. And we have two winners on the other two sides. Yeah. 
<laughs> you guys have both won and, and have multiple nominations. Mm -hmm. uh, Nancy couldn't remember how many nominations she has. But, um, <laughs> Just too many. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Well, to know, to know Nancy, that's a true statement, though. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. And it was also my first time actually meeting Michael Easton, who, oh. could he be any more charming? Mm -hmm. I mean, could he be? He's very funny. He is. That, that, that's actually what the surprise was for me. I, know, mm -hmm. I knew he'd be like how good looking he is. And, and, uh, and, and what a good you actor. thought he would be really grumpy? I didn't or? expect grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble. You are in Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I, it's all downhill. It's all downhill. Said, whoever's lucky enough to sit next to Mara at the daytime. See, movie. this has been going so that, well, that, and then they the sent in Mara West. <laughs> and, and Sitting next to uh, Mara Mar West or Kelly Monaco are uh, the best seats in the house because it's hilarious. Right? Yeah. Right? No, so absolutely. much fun. I've been next to Kelly before. Absolutely. So, did you decide on your draft? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty close. Pretty close. How about you? No idea yet. <laughs> no idea. I'll know? figure it out. I have some ideas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, well, we have a little more than a week. So, it's a big right? up in the air right now. We've been here a lot. Oh, we're here yeah. a lot. Yeah, we're yeah. here every... It's not a lot of time to think Pretty much every day this week we've been here. And then but Chloe and I don't work a lot. I don't work at all next week, and you. Um, I work. I work one day next yeah. week, so I'm going to have all the. And I have time this weekend. I'm going to go look at a few things. Right. And, and just see, but uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it'll be fun. I always think that the women should get together and it's trade. Yes, I have these dresses in thing. my closet. Well, I can't wear. I don't wear them again. So, but they're, they've been worn once. They're just they're trade. they're a lot of money. Have a little swap meet. <laughs> All the girls and say, "Here, this would look great on you. Yeah. What this would look great, great on idea. you." I, it's and they idea. get used. I like again. the white when you wore when you won. That one, I'm not. That was Jay Crew or something, wasn't that's it? That's who I wore. Yeah, Jay Crew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a special beautiful. one. I, I love that. <laughs> and they're not really making those lines. Anymore. I know they're not. Yeah. But yeah, so Michael and I were in black. We discussed. We're okay. Wearing, wearing black tuxedos. Nice. I know it's it's revolutionary, but um, <laughs> you guys get all the fun. Well, the only thing I can do this, like I can, can, this, like I can wear socks. You can wear like, fun socks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and then, yeah, then really make sure. Right. Yeah. Pocket square. Yeah. Yeah. Pocket square. And your right. shoes. You don't have to go classy. You can go like I took my son one year and he wore um, shoes that uh, I think they were like Nike. Converse that, or something. That, 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 I'm actually going to do that. And it matches pot pocket square. Yeah, I'm going to wear bright bright blue sneakers. Great. So, See, also because I have to walk around so much. Yeah. That you, you know, it's it's kind of it kind of works. Well, I'm, I'm excited. Wore black on black last year. Black nice. on black. Black on black. Yeah. I wear black yeah. a lot. So I will yeah. not be wearing black. That I can promise. Okay. And my son Joe is coming with me. Oh great! And he's wearing black tops too. Great, so. great, great. He great. looked so handsome the other day when he posted that picture. Thank you. Yeah. So Thank cute. You. Do we have to ask who you're bringing? <laughs> I'm bringing uh, Wes and my daughter Lauren. They're both coming. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Lauren loves a good party. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> yeah, she likes to sit there and make fun of us. <laughs> what you like. Do that's you know, okay. Are you, do you have an escort? Uh, yes, I'm going to be bringing my boyfriend and my manager. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay, it's going to be, yeah, there's a lot of people coming this year. It's going to really be um, yeah. a good one, a good one. And like I said, with lots of looking back, um, because as I said, it's 45 years for us. It's 55 years for them. And there's a couple of other anniversaries we're celebrating. Wheel of Fortune is 35 this year. Wow, wow. And um, YNR is 45 yep. also. And um, believe you ready for this? It's been 50 years since you first saw Mr. Rogers. Oh, so we're going to have it. And he just passed recently, right? Yeah, so we're gonna unfortunately have a nice we can't have tribute. him, but we'll have a nice Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little. But we'll we, also have, have, we all sort of carry him. Around oh, for sure. Pockets, yeah, it's kind of right? like who didn't love Mr. Rogers, I really? Know. Extraordinary man. Have you, yeah, and there's some, just a lot of nice surprises and some musical surprises. And Oh, uh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be a really, really good show. We're back at the Pasadena Civic again. It's a great. And again, we great. still... Where's my uh, seat? I better have a good seat. I'll have to find out. <laughs> I'll find out or I'll hear about it back now. <laughs> I'm <probably laughs> well, we're only in the same section. Yeah, in the GH section. Oh, Nancy yeah. was right behind me last year, and it was hilarious. That we just kept talking and, <laughs> and stuff. You know, we had so much fun. <laughs> and again, the her. the entire upstairs is going to be full of you guys, full of the fans. Oh, um, yay! And I will tell my mother how to watch it. My parents will be. Please tell my mother how to watch it. Sure. Oh, my mom. She doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't. All right. So there's. Remind um, us what we're. We said this a little earlier. There is no excuse this year to not be watching because mm -hmm. we have a partnership with a digital TV network called Connect TV, 
and you'll be able to just go and get all of this online but you can either go to connecttv.live or you can go to our Facebook page and, and just click you can click from our website but it's going to be available on Facebook Twitter YouTube Roku uh, Apple TV ah. so like it's be there or be square there is no reason not to be there if you have a computer does that mean wrap it up you can watch it you told to wrap it up yeah. Yeah. or wrote you have a computer no you have a computer I don't know we should send, send someone over just set your mom up her, so. her friends come well and there's there. a link if she on Facebook she can she can, yeah. she can click just no my click. mother's no okay Facebook. well I don't know that. all right time okay. to wrap it up they're okay. wrapping us so much up. fun thank you to everybody at General Hospital thank you guys so much and we'll see you all on April 29th yeah can't wait